Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel, my name is Maika. Today we are going to be playing with some Lethal Cosmetics eyeshadows. Lethal Cosmetics is a German indie brand and they do these build your own palettes. They also do a couple of standalone ones and this is a brand that I really like and I just got myself some more. So I thought I could do a palette bingo in today's video and sort of talk about the shades that are in here and what I've selected. So. As you can see here, I've got two of them. The white one is the one I built first, um, and this is their Synergy palette, I believe the white one is. And these palettes fit 12 of their square pen shades, and I already did a video with this. I did a Get Ready With Me last February where I used these shades, so I'll make sure to link that in the eye above. But by now, I've also gotten around to reviewing this on my blog, so I will make sure to link the full review in the description description box down below where you can see swatches and three more looks with this palette so i always forget the names of the shades in these palettes i'm terrible um, but i will make sure to list them in this order so starting here here and then here and i will make sure to put that in the description box yeah because i loved the shades in the white palette so much i decided to build myself another one i put it in the black palette when they restocked this is their hive palette i believe it also has a bit of an image of a bee on here i'm not sure if you can see that but this is just a lovely lovely uh, palette as well. I haven't put it on my face yet So I thought that would be a good concept to play around with these shades for the first time and do a palette bingo for you And sort of talk about how I put this together. So the basis for this palette is their land fall and skyward If I'm not mistaken, that's what they're called. There are two bundles that they did and then I swapped around some shades for things that I preferred um, And uh, so yeah, let me uh, go and select some shades from this palette now let's get this make it look going. All right, so I've got the Google random generator here, generate, and I get shade 12. I dug my nail in, I will look up for you what the shade is called and put it on the screen because I don't wanna ruin this palette any further. Uh, and this is like a very deep maroon shade, so let me give this a swatch for you so that we can see this color story coming together. I'll put it here. You know what I mean? So that's a matte and that's a really nice deep matte. So even with a light hand, I could make that work as a crease shade if I have to. I'm going to pick five shades, by the way. I get number two. Oh, that's a nice, that's that matte light blue here. So let's see what that looks like. So there you have the matte blue. And then we're going to hit generate again. I get shade 10, which is another blue. That's this one. And this is a matte as well. Ooh, let's hope we get a shimmer too. So that was number three. I get number one, which is a shimmer. Yay! So I get this really pretty purpley shade as a shimmer. Ooh, it's a bit deep for me for over the lid, perhaps, what for my preferences, but hey, if we can make do with that, like this on the top lash line and this, this on the lower lash line, one more, and we get shade nine. Oh, that's the green, hmm. <laughs> so that's this deep, like cocky green shade. So we only have one shimmer, so that's gonna go onto the lid, so now, ooh. Whoa, whoa, look at that. <laughs> Let me see how far I can pull it down. Oh, wow, that is an amazing shadow. Okay, and this is the color story that I'm going to be playing with. All right, so I have an idea of what I would like to do, and I just thought I could uh, chat to you a little bit as we were doing this eye look. So I'm gonna zoom you in, and then I'm just gonna talk you through what I'm doing and all that. Usually I speed through my looks, but because it, this is the video, I'm just going to talk to you while I do my eyeshadow. Right, so I've zoomed you in, and I'm going to be starting as usual with a MAC 217, and I'm going to put, I just think I'm just gonna go in with that blue shade. That's gonna go into the crease. That's, uh, I think, the best one to start off with. So let's see, ooh, that's very powdery when I stick my brush in. So yeah, this is sort of like, not exactly a first impression, because I've worked with 
Lethal Cosmetics shadows before, but not these shades that are in this palette. And yeah, I just really, really fell in love with the shades in the other palette, which is why I was like, when they restock, I just, I just need to get some more. Rather than like fluffing them on, I've been really sort of like stamping them. And that I feel gives them a lot more vibrancy um, because I've been using a lot of vibrant shades this month, which has been a lot of fun. So I just sort of like to lay the color down. Yeah, so Lethal Cosmetics has very quickly made its way into like my top 10 favorite eyeshadow formulas and the fact that they're a European based indie brand is just, I mean, to me that's just the best news ever because it makes it easier for me to get. They do free shipping after I think it's 65 euros, which sadly one of these palettes retails for 59.95 I believe. Um, so it helps if you get like one extra shade that you can then put in another palette because at least you will get the free shipping and you know you get an, another eyeshadow because getting the shipping or getting one more eyeshadow that's like one euro difference so to me what I did when I bought this palette is that I bought another shade which is like a really deep cool toned like charcoal gray shimmer um, because I'm currently working on building a custom cool toned eyeshadow palette um, with like some neutrals and I thought it could be perfect for that but when I was sort of like when I had all the shades and I had 13 so I played around with it as well but maybe sometime I might take this shade out and then put that charcoal gray shade in because oh my word it worked so well with this color story too and that is something that you do need to know about Lethal Cosmetics as a brand is that they have a lot of colorful shades and they have a lot of warm tone neutrals, but I feel that they don't, they, they're not very well versed in the cool tone department yet, which is what I prefer. But yeah, that's why this palette is this weird mishmash of like warm tone greens and like browns and berry kind of shades, but then with some like cool tone purples and um, some like lighter blues and greens in the mix so I think the blues and the greens are mainly from the Skyward collection that they released I think this fall actually and then uh, together with that they also did the landfall which is where where some of those berries came from uh, but I definitely switched out like five or six shades I'm sure so I, I, I think I must have switched out like five or six of the shades in that original collection so this is definitely not that but I sort of used that as a baseline and I've been playing around and switching around with their tool on their website for months so I really can't tell you anymore what was originally in there and what I ended up putting in this palette and why I made those decisions because it's been months like I had this on my wish list for such a long time but then more and more of the shades started to you know go out of stock and I was like I'll just wait until everything is in stock and then I can buy everything in one go and I also really wanted to get the black palette so that I can actually um, you know tell these two palettes apart because if I were to get another white one I would always be grabbing for the wrong thing. I'm going to be using this Oiva Looks to Find Crease Brush and that light blue shade that we pulled. I'm going to use that to further blend out that outer edge so I can bring the shadow up more towards my brow. So on camera it always looks like I have tons of space between my brow and my and my lid. I actually don't. For me in real life the color is already like up to here and that leaves me with like two millimeters of space right now but on camera it always looks like I've got tons of space left which I don't so I kind of do this for YouTube purposes because in real life this looks a little crazy but on camera it looks better if I actually blend out that crease shade a bit more with a slightly lighter shade so that's just a habit I got into because of making videos and taking pictures of looks <laughs> And it does make it look more diffused, so that's why I like to go in with a very pale shade like this, because in real life it still doesn't look t like you've, you know, put blue into your brow. It doesn't look like that at all. It's just that on camera this just looks a little bit better. So I think that that's a nice blend on the crease, and just because I'm feeling adventurous, I'm going to be putting that green into my outer V, so that I can cre create a bit of a cat eye shape for myself. I've been playing around with so many like bright colorful shades 
Oh, <laughs> uh, case in point, <laughs> the residue that's on this uh, brush. So let me clean it off. Um, so uh, yeah, as you can tell, I've been using a lot of bright shades and very often with very bright eyeshadow, I don't like doing like a cat eye kind of thing because I feel it's not defined enough to be able to do that. Um, but with these shades, I think it can make it work. So this is the Zoeva Petite Crease Brush, the 231. And I'm just going to see how this is going to go. Ooh, let me tap off the excess. Because I think green and blue will blend. Together quite nicely. Oh, I think that can work. And then green and purple is a really nice juxtaposition too. So I think this can work. Quite well. So this is like a really, really stunning murky green shade. I love this. It's like, it's not quite like a full foresty kind of green and it's not a cocky, but it's a really stunning dark green shade, so. And can you just see, like this is why I fell in love with this brand, because these kind of just blend themselves without turning into a really huge, muddy, messy. I really like how this is giving me some definition right here in the outer corner. I'm really liking this. So now what I'm gonna do, just to make sure that I've got a nice blend, is go I'm going back to my MAC brush, and with just a little bit of product, I'm just going to put that in the crease, making sure I've got a nice blend, um, because I feel that that always works with making sure there are no harsh lines or anything like that and then you put some of that vibrancy of the blue back into the look as well and i'm going to go back in with my fluffy zoeva brush because now of course we need to blend this edge a little bit again just to make sure that all of those shades are nicely defined see and with some brands what i find is that with a shade like this like after you do this you need to apply it again like in full swing and with this i feel if i just go in with this flat sonia kashuk brush and I just dab it on a little bit just to make sure that outer V is nice and defined. I feel that that works, whereas with some brands, you don't need to go, like, you need to do this process of, like, applying it and blending it three times for it to show full intensity. And with this, I feel it works really well. Right, so I hope that this is okay and that the angle isn't too far off because I had to delete some files from my camera because it was full. Um, so I'm going to go in with a, just a hint of that green shade in a minute on my lower lash line. But I'm just going to use a deep like reddish brown shade on the lower lash line. <clears throat> I know this freaks people out, but I sort of like to hold down my lid a little bit because else I can't get this kind of shade on. I don't think I really need the green, but just to make sure that it ties in together with the top lash line, I'm just going to take a little angle brush. This is one that I've had from ye for years from Hema, uh, and I'm just going to sort of really put it down here and sort of smudge it up a little bit so that it's connected to the outer V. And I just saw like a little bit of that shimmer that's on my top lash line had a, transferred a little bit to the lower lash line. So I'm just going to take my pencil brush. This is a Sigma E30. And I'm just going to dot this right here. I think it will really tie together with the light blue that I'm going to be putting in the inner corner right now. Using the same brush, I'm just going to pick up that light blue matte. Ooh. That's really pretty. I'm pretty sure that this light blue matte is definitely part of that Skyfall uh, collection. That they so I want to bring that green a little bit back because I feel I lost it a little bit on the top lash line. So I'm just going to make sure that I bring that back. Because that happens when you use fingers, it's just not as accurate. So using a bit more of that green. And then do I want to use some of that maroon shade as liner, because I feel that the lower lash line is much darker than the top lash. So I'm just gonna go and put a little bit here, not going over the green too much, and then just tie the look together. All 
All right, so there you have it. That is my palette bingo look with these 12 shades from Lethal Cosmetics. I only used five of them, of course, because I didn't want to go too overboard, but I think it was a very successful look. What do you guys think? I really like it. I can't help it. Like, I really like how the blues and the greens and that purple shimmer just goes with it so, so nicely. I, I, I couldn't, couldn't have been happier with this look, to be quite honest. I think everything blended really nicely together, but without muddying, just great textures, great, great shimmer quality. Those mattes just blended themselves. Very smooth, very, very good quality indeed. So I'm very happy with this palette. I definitely need to try this a bit more so that I have some more looks to show you. Um, as I already mentioned, what I will probably be doing now that I've done this look is that I'll probably be doing like a, like a, a look with these like berries and then a look with like the purples that are in here and then maybe something that is a bit more like greens and blues. Um, so like four, sh uh, four looks, uh, four shades per look and sort of do it that way. So yeah, I will be doing that at some point in the next couple of weeks so that I have this palette ready for reviews as well. But this first look, I mean, when you look at this color story, you may go a bit like, huh? How's that going to work? But I feel that it plays very nicely together on the eyes and with my brown eyes, this looks really, really stunning. I'm, I'm really happy with the outcome. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make three, no vi three new videos a week on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So stay safe and stay healthy in the meantime. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.